All right, well, let's, uh, let's see if we can wrap up the modeling section of this crate here. So, one thing we're going to need to do is change these over to the shaded smooth. I'm going to select them all and change that to shade smooth. But then I'm going to come into the object data properties panel under normals. I'm going to check auto smooth and set the angle to 60 for now. All right. That should take care of any kind of weird shading we might have been getting from hard bends in the planks before. Like, I don't know if you can see it here. It's kind of hard to tell, but there are some shading artifacts there. You can see if I... And it, yeah, okay. With this matte cap, it's easier to see. See those? Those are flat shaded planks versus our new, improved, smooth shaded planks. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same here. All right, so that's that's taken care of now. I'm going to add the cube back because I'm going to use this cube here. I'm going to turn on snapping. I'm going to use this cube to stick our boards to. Actually, this, this needs to be flipped around. Nope. Rotate on the X by 180. There we go. That's what we want. Alright, and I'm going to control D. Duplicate these, and I'm actually going to move them out into this other collection here. I'm going to grab them, move them out here, rotate on the Z by no. Alright, so now on the Z by 180. Gotta make sure that beam here is on the outside. And let's see if we can snap this into place. All right, not bad. All right, rotate C, 180, grab the X, snap it onto that corner. I'm thinking maybe I want hmm. like what angle do I want that board? Kind of, I think I like it. Yeah, I kind of want to go for that pattern. I'm liking that. All right. But before I let go of these entirely, I'm going to go ahead and make a new collection here. I'll pull those into there. New collection. And make sure I get all of these out of that one. Need to pull all these over into uh, 
new collection. It should have been duplicating the collections, not the objects in the collection. And I won't have had to clean all that up, but yellow. All right, so let's select all of these. And make sure that's snapped up against the cube. And then rotate the Y90. Yeah. Okay, so I seem to keep messing this up. X90. And Y90. And there, there we go. Ugh, I made that way harder than it needed to be, but, you know, that's life sometimes. Alright, I'm going to zoom out so I can actually get this up above without sending it off screen. Rotate the X, 90, which is upside down. So I'm going to rotate it on the X by 180 again. Okay, now, now it's where I want it. And snap that on. Okay. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm duplicating the objects and not the collections. Uh, bad habits. All right, duplicate the collection. Select the objects. Now I'm going to move this down. Rotate the X by 180. And put that down there. And that took a bit longer than I wanted since I made some mistakes, but should look like this now, but this is not quite what we want. We want everything to kind of fit together somewhat realistically. Like we want Kind of have like nails here sticking that on there, sticking this down. You know, we want the panel to kind of fit in between. So now we're going to have to customize these a little. I'm gonna hit three on the numpad here. To go to the front. And I'm going to shrink the left side and right side panels. Mm. I actually just realized these are swapped around now. Maybe I like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Wonder how easily I could...
yeah, so that's pretty simple. If you don't like it, those being a different way, or if you want them to, you can just easily select them all, then rotate along an axis like I rotated along the Y there by 90 degrees, flip them all around. You're probably going to want to do that before we shrink these down here. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to do, I kind of want to swap these two, actually. All right. Yeah, because I'm going to shrink these boards. All right. What if I just scale these? Hmm. It's not quite working so well for the board in the middle. So I'm going to try and do that one separately. These, these all have pretty much the exact same height. And we want to take, so this is 0.1 meters tall, 0.1 meters tall. We want those to fit flush on top of this panel. So I'm going to change this to 0.14. Or 1.4, I mean. Yeah, okay. That is, that is a bit unfortunate. This is what I get for doing things a little differently. In this this video this time around than when I did it just as a test, but as life. So this one, I'm going to scale it down. This I'm just going to eyeball. Honestly, that probably would have been a better idea than keying all those in by hand. If I'd just done it manually, that really wouldn't have been that bad. Now I can do 1.8 there and 0.2 here. And I'm going to go ahead and hide that cube. Yep, and let's see if we can eyeball this and you know, rotate it, scale it on the Z. Rotate it on the Y, then scale on the Z again. Yeah, that's probably good enough. I think the last step. Last step's gonna have to be manually 
grabbing these vertices, and I'm going to go into x-ray mode so I can grab the two there, and turn it off so I can see better. I'm just going to move them up on the Z, then make sure I grab both these vertices here, then maybe I'll move them up on the Z just a little bit also. Come down here, move this down the Z, move that down a bit as well. All right, so this is a bit better. This is pretty much what we want here. And so now, which one? Okay. I'm going to select all of these. And I'm going to eyeball it, moving it in along the Y. I'm going to fit it in there, just like that. All right, cool. And now I'm going to move these up. up. Shift select. All right. And I eyeball this along the Z. All right, nice. Grab this. And along the Z, all right, so you can see now the crate's really coming together. All that's left is this side here, and Honestly, I kind of don't want to do all that shifting around again, so I'm just going to delete that. Then I'm going to run back over here, and I'm going to duplicate the collection. Select the objects. Rotate the Z by 180, and it's facing the right way now. Now I'm going to carefully put this in here. Okay, nice, nice. So now our crate's all together. And all that's left is to fine-tune all these little planks. Make sure they line up or don't line up. Make sure they look different, as distressed as you want. You know, here's the time where we really put in some effort and customize each plank by just going in, grabbing the vertices, and moving them. And it it is definitely a bit tedious, but... Sometimes this is what it takes to get those really high quality results we want. All right, so I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. This video's gone on a bit longer than I thought, so I'm gonna call it quits. And in the next one, I think we'll finally UV unwrap this thing and take it into substance and play with it there.